Elon Musk insulted a Tesla stock bull, a billion dollar fund manager, Ross Gerber. Tesla stock price now reflects the value of having no CEO. Great job, Tesla board of directors. Time for a shakeup. Ross is also running for an election to be elected as a member of the board. Elon replied rather politely at first, although with a somewhat demeaning tone, I would assume. Please tell us your great ideas, Ross. Dot, dot, dot. Then Ross does share his ideas. As I tweeted earlier, my three points are number one, Tesla needs a media and communications team. Number two, Tesla needs a succession plan as well as clarify when Elon will be back from Twitter. And number three, Tesla needs to communicate about Elon's stock sales and a standstill agreement should be made. To which Elon, of course, replies, Go back and read your old Securities Analysis 101 textbook. Ooh. None of these words typically you would think of as offensive, but when it's under certain circumstances, it is, uh, it just looks bad. Even though nothing really happened, you could say. Oh, if you are a new Tesla stock investor, welcome to the party. Elon then explains further. In simple terms, as bank savings account interest rates, which are guaranteed, start to approach stock market returns, which are not guaranteed, people will increasingly move their money out of stocks into cash, thus causing stocks to drop. There was a pretty good tweet right here as well. There are a lot of tech companies with no CEO, it seems. You should go after Zuckerberg next. It is down 66%. And you can see many other companies are down a tremendous amount. However, Roz does point out something important. How many are growing earnings per share, profits, by 50% annually? Just number three, which when Ross said that, I was like, huh, there's another company that is growing earnings per share by 50%. I need to hear about it. What company is it? It's Tesla. Not one of these companies Ross says is even close. Oh, I have to show you this. The recent move down was me pricing in you getting onto the board. This is in reply to Ross. Ouch. Ross is saying a bit premature. Funny though. Funny. It might be simpler for Elon just to tell everyone, hey, just look at the earnings. Can't you see they look pretty good? It is, however, important to mention that Ross... Loves Tesla, supports Elon, and has invested in Elon's ventures for almost a decade. And the purpose of him reaching out to Elon like this is just try to help as a friend and as a supporter. But Elon thinks Ross is just reaching a little bit too far. And then I was really surprised to see this tweet from Elon. As you can see, this is to Ross. And uh, he, Elon saying, couldn't agree more. We're making this change soon. And then I quickly realized, oh, it was nothing to do about what we were actually talking. This was a reply to this tweet, which is just talking about making some updates for, you know, about Twitter. I can't believe this is actually happening. Trending. Gary and Ross Stevens as couples goals. Wow. Ross is taking it pretty well, too. Here's an interesting poll. How is your current emotional state about Tesla stock? How many are saying great and okay, and uh, I assume this is also feeling fine. So when we look at that poll, it's really only about a third of the people that are not feeling great. Why do I feel great? Well, I look at the earnings. The earnings are looking good and bright in the future. 
I just look at my actions. Am I doing anything wrong? I am dollar cost averaging. I am following the principles of the world's most successful or at least the richest investor, Warren Buffett. And I know that an average investor only makes 2.9% on average. And this is largely due to active trading because you want to buy, well, the average investor wants, when everyone is making money. It's the euphoria. It's going, everything's going up and now everything's crashing and average investors want to sell. And as a Tesla stock investor, one rule of investing in Tesla stock that I have for myself is just let Elon, Elon, it's going to happen. In fact, it is happening. And before it was just fine. I believe this is going to be just fine for myself. That is not financial advice, of course. You know, in 2019, there was a lot of talk about Tesla going bankrupt. But today, can you imagine Tesla going bankrupt? I can't anymore. I don't see it. The earnings just look too good. But what has to happen for Tesla stock to go back up? A, a few things. It would help if Elon affirms that he's actually going to abide by the results of the poll for him to step down as the head of Twitter. That I can believe that would somehow hurt Tesla stock. It may not make the stock go up but it would prevent it from going down further, my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course. And then there are concerns. The only bear that I really like when it comes to Tesla stock is Tony right here. He is almost, he has almost five full stars, almost. And interestingly, he's saying sell, but his price target has almost 10% upside. Interesting, but he does raise a concern. He's concerned about Tesla's demand, especially in China. To address these concerns, we would either need to hear about the cheaper car that Tesla would release, or we would need to have some sort of clear data that absolutely clearly shows without a shadow of a doubt, where you look at this data and you cannot interpreted in any way where Tesla potentially has a slowing demand in China. That, for example, could be as simple as letting us know that potentially production lines are shut down because they are being upgraded, as an example. But you don't really want to reveal these things because if people all of a sudden know that the current model that is being sold is going to be not as good compared to the one that's going to be coming out in just a month. No one is going to buy the current cars. So you don't want to say that. It also wouldn't hurt, I think, if uh, Elon did not talk about the Fed and interest rates specifically, saying that the interest rates are hurting Tesla stock price, then I am having a hard time connecting how it has been hurting since Twitter acquisition. Before the Twitter acquisition, yeah, I'm on board, although Elon did sell quite a bit of stock as well. But interest rates, yeah, macro environment certainly had an impact before the Twitter deal. But the best thing that can happen or keep happening is just simply Tesla executing like it has been executing until now, increasing deliveries, increasing production, increasing profits, increasing earnings per share. You can see right here, this is the estimate, estimated part for the deliveries for 2022 is a very low, tiny part. This is how it's basically going to look like. And as you can see, the growth has been just fine. And often when you look before, when Tesla has a year where it grows just under 50%, next year is more than 50%. So perhaps next year Tesla could grow by more than 50% in deliveries. That would be the best way to get the stock price higher up. 
So when someone asks Elon about Tesla stock price, why is it down? I would prefer if Elon just said, yeah, but just look at the earnings. Are you guys not happy with the increase of earnings? Projected earnings for next year have been increasing steadily and they increased about two times in just two years. In the meantime, I really sincerely hope that all of the fighting between Tesla, Bulls, and Elon, and all of this drama eventually goes away the faster the better. Is, well, at least that is what I hope. But hope is not a strategy. I don't really expect this to settle down. If anything, I expect a lot more drama. And these are 48 reasons why I only own Tesla stock in my stock portfolio. My name is Matt Posius. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.